How's everybody doing? It's Gregory Patrick with New England's Rare Fishery. Today we're talking about cleaning up this dirty tank. Now this is the telltale signs of hard water. It's uh, basically lime scale. Uh, you know, there's not a whole lot of other words for it, but uh, I made sure to scrub it real close down. This used to be a turtle tank, if you've seen my other videos. This was reclaimed from a rescue. And, um, you know, nothing goes to waste around here. Anything donated is appreciated, so we, we take care of what we get. And um, I'm using vinegar today. No harsh chemicals, nothing like that. You see this, this hard lime is just going to come right off, I promise you that. And here we go. I just take some paper towels, lay them on the bottom, and um, just like I, uh, I always say, you know, you can do the math and you can probably make this a little easier to handle by mixing it with water. But I'm, I'm going 100% here, and um, this might be a little too much. I think I soaked it just a little too much because as you'll see, it doesn't stick quite at first. But um, I lay it on thick, you know, and... Um, what I can warn you is uh, if you're using 100% vinegar, don't stick your head above the tank because you're going to get a big whiff of that. And um, it's not going to be too pleasant, you know. It's not anything like, um, you know, mixing bleach or chlorine into a fish tank. You know, you, if you mix that with ammonia, you can have some serious problems. So that's why I'm using vinegar. I, I don't keep harsh chemicals around the house. I just don't think it's wise, you know. This is in a saltwater um, fishery, so we don't really need to worry too much about those kind of marine supplies. We just use natural products you know nature is fun wilds fun that's the deal but as you can see after a little bit of working um, getting all that extra vinegar out that was soaked in there too much it stuck right to the glass no problems and um, all you gotta do now is work out all the air because anything that isn't gonna get contact with that paper towel isn't gonna get as clean so you wanna do your best and um, it'll stick better too if you do it right and you can walk away for three days and it'll be there you know nothing to it um, just with the vinegar so, you know, you just keep it up, and, um, you know, I, I use these small ones, but um, I, I lay it on a few <clears throat> anywhere there's lime scale, anywhere that white stains, because I'm going to be using this tank, and um, you're probably breeding in it. It's never going to really be for a display or anything like that, but, you know, I want it to be clean. Uh, with my soft water, you know, um, I could just actually just put it in there for two years and you know, just let some goldfish take down the lime scale, let my soft water do its work, but this is a little bit faster, I'd say. But uh, yeah, like I said, after about a half an hour, this is what it's going to look like. Everything looks pretty dry, and it's ready to fall off, but um, it's going to stay up there as long as there's no breeze coming through. But uh, a quick wipe, and as you can see, it's no longer that dingy uh, white film on there. It came right off. It just dissolves, and um, you know, you'll see the worst spot. This was probably the easiest spot, the front, you know, probably got the most work uh, uh, from the previous owner keeping it clean because you know they had a turtle in there on display but um you know as you can see the back's a little bit worse <clears throat> but the side was the real problem but you know even after you uh soak it for a half an hour it's just good to give it a good clean wipe get any of that excess off it's dissolved for the most part but it'll re-harden if you don't just give it a quick scrub and um no big deal though like it's it's not like you need a ton of elbow grease on that light film here you see it's going to be a little harder to get off even after a half an hour some, you know, it depends really on um, the level of, of, you know, or the thickness of the scale on there. But as you can see, with just a quick wipe, 99% of it comes off, you know, even after it was that bad. I mean, I wouldn't say it was more than a millimeter worth of um, hard water deposits, but, you know, it shows up. And you can't really scrape it off. I wouldn't suggest going at your glass with a razor to get that stuff. Like I said, vinegar, just don't stick your head in the tank while you're doing this. And it's really easy to work with. Open the window if it... Because, it, you know, again, it's just going to smell up the room. It's not going to hurt anybody. And um, it mixes well with whatever's in the fish tank. You're not going to have any weird gas bubbles or anything like that, which is a really important thing to keep up. Um, you really got to be super careful. But, you know, wipe on the outside, wipe on the inside. Um, I use this angle, too, because, you know, I'm sorry about the daylight glow, but you can actually see any of the spots. You can see a couple right there. That um, those are actually going to need a little bit of elbow grease, but I have all those soaked paper towels. You put them all together, and um, you know you you don't have to go and bust out new vinegar or anything like that. You just you know give it a little elbow grease, and like I said, this is going to look pretty much like a brand new tank. You know, it's going to have a couple issues that are keeping it from pretty. Like I don't really understand how these seams were reinforced. I'm not going to go into like I say a donated tank. I won't ever criticize anybody's decisions. I just. Uh, probably do something else but I'm not really sure I might do something fun and creative with it <laughs> something goofy that I haven't seen yet so if you're interested in uh, you know what you can do to reinforce old seals and make a new tank uh, special I'll do a video uh, on that in the future I'd, I'd love it if you subscribe to the channel share this with everybody and um, you know in any, any kind of feedback if this help was helpful if you have old tanks and hard water this uh, this could help anyone don't do it with your fish in there you know <clears throat> it's gonna take a couple days of drying out I'm gonna flush it out with uh, 
fresh tank water or old tank water rather and um you know then i'm gonna put some fish in it so hope this helped guys this is new england's rare fishery we're gonna be around i'd love it if you commented and please share this with anybody who might uh get some interest in it have a great day guys